Hello everybody, welcome to Review a Day, episode number 80, for Friday, November the 7th, 2008. Hello everybody, welcome to Review a Day, the daily video blog where I review a movie seven days a week. My name is Leland Brungart, and thank you very much for joining me. It's Friday, so I will be going to see Role Models today, the new David Wayne flick. Very excited about it, looks pretty funny. Um, but the film I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today is Young People Fucking. Um, this is actually listed as YPF in the Netflix if you really want to rush out and see this movie. Um, this movie is directed by Martin Garo, Martin Giro, I don't know how to pronounce it, don't really care. Um, this movie stars Carly Pope, Josh Cook, Callum Blue, um, and Ennis Esmer, I guess. Um, Young People Fucking takes... Okay, fixing the camera again. Young People Fucking is these... It's this... Um, it's a series of stories told side by side, um, and it's these different, basically, bedtime experiences. There's, like, a, a married couple who kind of have lost the steam in their relationship. There's a couple who... Um, they're exes, there's three people in this movie who are having a three-way, um, there's people who are having a one-night stand. It's just kind of exploring sex in all these different, um, relationships and stuff like that. Um, I, I wanted to quickly say that I think, I hate the title of this movie, Young People Fucking. I think it is lazy. I think it's, I think that's a freaking lazy title. There are some titles of movies that are so succinct and so perfect that, that I don't think they could have been titled anything else. I think Zack and Mary Make a Porno is a great title. It is exactly what that movie is. Texas Chainsaw Massacre is, to me, probably the greatest title to a movie ever. Young people fucking lazy, in my opinion, anyways. Um, the more I watch films, the more I freaking hate, I just hate in a movie, when in the beginning of the movie, it tells you who these characters are at the bottom. It basically, anytime couples are introduced or people are introduced, it's like, these two people are having this conversation, and then it goes, bam, the exes, or it goes, bam, the roommates, bam, the friends. That is lazy, and I, when I was younger, I didn't, I mean, not when I was younger, but uh, I didn't used to mind it so much, but the more I've watched film, it's just like, that's just lazy. You, you should be able to write into the film everything we need to, need to know without posting exactly who these people are. Bothers me. Also, this film uses which also really bothered me, it has like this list of things that happen when people have sex. I guess it's out of a textbook. I don't think it's real though. And that's basically, it basically serves as the narration of the film. There's these six, like, it's like foreplay and all these different things that it lists it out. And I found that lazy as well. Um, I feel like this movie, which is, is not very interesting. I was really surprised how boring this movie was. I was, it's, it's an hour and 30 minutes and it, feels way longer. The film has no arc, has no plot. It is people getting into sexual situations and then they talk about it, I guess. Um, the characters really aren't that different from uh, at the beginning of the film to the end, which I don't which I don't mind because the film takes place in like a, like an hour or two, you know. Um, but I think this film tries to get by on the fact that it's called young people fucking and, look how uh, risque and provocative this film is. But it's not. Um, this film is basically that one scene in Knocked Up where they're having sex and they talk about how the penis is coming at the baby's head and stuff like that, which is a funny scene. But this is the whole movie, and it's not as funny as that scene. So it's it really loses steam fast, um, and it, does, it doesn't work. And I think the ending of the film, which tries to come across as kind of emotional and sweet, it does not earn that ending at all. At all. Um, you know, I just, with a title like Young People Fucking, I think you kind of know what you're getting into. Um, but it's it's not provocative, it isn't thought-provoking, it isn't, it, is, it didn't even feel that dirty. It, it just, um, I remember a, a Netflix review said, it should be called Young People Talking or something like that. And I honestly would have I would have liked the that title more than the title it has now, which just is stupid. Um, the performances are okay. Um, Callum Blue, who I really liked on Dead Like Me, is good in this film. I think there's some good performances. I really liked the relationship between the exes um, as much as I made fun of them earlier. I liked that relationship. I thought that one worked. 
I, I think this film needed more. Um, all of these scenes where they talk about sex, I've seen before in other films that actually had plots and were far more interesting. I give Young People Fucking a 2 out of 5. Um, I would say skip it. It's kind of a, it's a boring film. Uh, if you guys are liking my reviews, give me some ratings. Give me some stars. I love the stars, like I said. Um, if you have any films you'd like to see me review, leave them in the comments below. I'll be trying to get my review of Role Models up today on Friday. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow.